hope you're having a nice day. So I'm here today to show you a bit more of my wardrobe. We get so many requests on this, so I wanted to show you some other bits, my favorite makes at the moment, and also some maybe vintage bits to inspire us about some other makes we can do and what patterns we could maybe use to create them. Sorry about that noise, there is a motorbike outside revving up. Um, and if you stick around to the end of this video, you will see me talking about some very exciting offers and discounts. So yes, I am wearing just a, a ready to wear bought um, jumper. I'm wearing it with the Lizzie skirt. I think the colors work really nicely. Um, I haven't got black tights on, but I should have black tights on. Um, and yeah, really love this skirt. This is definitely one of my favorites, but let's go in. Whoa. We haven't been into this wardrobe in right, a while. Let's have a look. What have we got in here? So many things. Oh, this is, I think, I wore this the other day and it reminded me of, I definitely think this is one of my favorite autumn um, dresses. Sorry, it's on inside out. So this is a Heidi dress, which um, was a magazine pattern. Um, so you can only now get this currently as um, in the magazine print version, but it's a really lovely wrap dress and I just think the colours are really lovely and because it's long sleeved you can wear it now. So that's definitely a favourite. Um, still a favourite, some of you who know me for a while will know that this is one of my favourite dresses. This is vintage um, and yeah, I just love the print, I love the fact that the top is sheer. It's a really simple make actually, so it's just got a lap zip on the back, it's got elasticated that's been put into the waist, which I actually did because I wanted it to be like that. I think before it was just straight, um, and then yeah, it's just got a hand stitched hem, and there is lining attached in at the waist so that it's not see through there. But what's particularly beautiful is this detail around the neckline, I don't know if you can see, but it's gathered in here, I think that's gorgeous. So to rec recreate something like this, you could hack up um, probably our Whitley top on Stitch School because it is similar to that uh, hack that I did on YouTube on this channel for my makes a few months ago. So you could do that. Um, you could also, even like the Susie blouse, you could probably do it with that. You could take the Susie blouse, put on a waist seam and then um, add a gathered skirt with a ratio of, sort of one to two gathers. And then you think you could create that quite easily. So yeah, love that. Um, who I still haven't taken out my summer things, which is annoying because I can't see what I've got. <laughs> um, da, da, da. oh look, there's another Heather dress, but we don't want to see that because we've seen one already. But oh yeah, this, this is an oldie but a goodie. Love this. So this is a 1940s, the original 1940s uh, wrap dress that I made. And it did come, actually, it was sort of based on a vintage pattern, but I made some amendments to it. And this is a bit more vintage than the one that we have as our pattern, but I just love this fabric. I think I got it from Goldhawk Road for like four pounds a meter or something crazy like that. Um, but yeah, I still wear that at this time of year as well. Also guys, this one. Now this I got recently in Paris um, when I was there on a trip. Um, it wasn't the work trip that I was on, but I was there for, uh, just a weekend of fun. And um, we stumbled across this vintage um, market and I got this, now this is Chacoque, which apparently is a very good uh, vintage, um, very nice designer make. Um, it must be French because I've not heard of it. But I think I picked this up for, I think it was 25 euros. Really good condition. I wear it with a wasted belt, love it. And I have, we are actually gonna see if there's anything we can do to create a pattern with this, but. I think the problem is, is it's a knitted garment, so it would be so dependent on the cloth that you made it in that I don't know if it would work as a pattern. But watch this space. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's just too much in here. Um, everything else is all quite wintry, so it's not in that one. Um, oh, that. Actually, I wore this the other day and loved it. Again, it's another Heidi dress, but wow leopard print go big or go home eh um but it's nice because you can wear tights underneath it so there's some nice bits there a couple of vintage bits let's have a look what's in here Ew. so this i put up on lisa comfort home recently um it was for my friday flowers 
and a lot of people were saying, where's it from? Now it's vintage as well and it is a pussy bow blouse but it is quite different from our version. Um, it's got a lovely yoke there gathered in and then it's got um, a pleated skirt on it but I do love it and yeah maybe one day I'll make a pattern from it but yeah I love wearing that. Um, very very cute. Also I'm really annoyed I haven't worn this because um, now we're into winter but I just love this bonnie blouse just think it's so cute um, and I wear it with my uh, ultimate trousers that are black but I need to get a chunky black cardigan because then I'd feel I might be able to pull it off if I had a thermal vest underneath but yeah love that colour it's sort of mocha colour also guys remember these from Florida my little vintage cardigans cashmere vintage haven't worn these yet pretty excited about getting these back out again um, just so beautiful fortunately the moths have not got them um, hey, what else, what else, what else, what else? Do you know what, I wore this the other day in a video um, that you guys will have seen I think now and uh, I remember, I just love it. I just love how, so it's a cropped shift dress, shift top but I love the how the layers are, that the, the, the lining is longer. I just think it's really pretty and so I quite like to make a black one of those think that would be really good for both work and evening so I'm on the hunt now for some nice black lace okay I've got some jackets to show you um, I've got ready to wear here but I'm going to show you ready to wear because you know what ready to wear sometimes inspires us with makes so this is a beautiful bomber jacket that's from Zara I just love the fabric that's why I got it but actually after I got this, I got this a few years ago and then I thought I really want us to do a bomber jacket pattern and then if you remember from my magazine we did an Amelia so um, you could make an Amelia jacket out of something glitzy like this just throw it on over jeans and a plain black top and you're party ready um, likewise I bought this um, from Anthropology in the States and I think it was in there, actually it wasn't, it was from here and it's actually embroidered Georgette and I just because the fabric was so stunning how beautiful are those colors just so fab but you could do that with the Sylvia uh, jacket um, or robe sorry but I did do similar things with these ones if you remember these are also fabric from India um, and yeah I made a couple of cocoa jackets so you can see I do like a bit of a, a glam jacket a bit of a loud one so there's a little bit of a look inside my wardrobe <laughs> If you like this kind of um, video, then I can do more of them. Obviously as well, I'm picking up things that I wanna wear now. So as we move through seasons and things or times of year, they might be different. So obviously at the moment, because Christmas is coming, I'm thinking up a bit more party-ish, but winter after Christmas, I will be thinking more cozy and pared down. So um, now, as you know, or you may know, it is Black Friday, so today, we have our Black Friday deals on offer and they're as good as they were last year. There's lots of amazing discounts and the offers end on midnight um, on Monday. So on Cyber Monday, so you have four days to be making the most of them. So happy shopping, guys. We'll make sure all the details are in the description box below. That's it for today, though. Have lovely weekends and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.